Well, as Francella has been mentioning, people in the San Bernardino Mountains and other Central California communities, they are already getting slammed with another strong storm. And joining us to talk more about preparations and what his team is doing is Captain Brent Pasquale of Cal Fire San Diego. Joined us earlier this week. You are here again. We appreciate yes. the time. Yes, thank you. So let's get an update from the last time we spoke. Of course, Crestline was the area that they were really honing in on getting those residents resources. What is the latest with operations right now for Cal Fire? So the latest with our teams that are out there. Uh, we have four engines that stayed in Crestline. Uh, we have four engines that are returning home to do a crew swap uh, to be ready for the next mission. And then the two hand crews, they've been sent to the Bishop area to help assist with uh, any flooding problems that may occur there. So we know strong winds, those rivers being, uh, you know, uh, swollen as well. The snow that's on the ground potentially melting. We've talked about how warm it is. Right. What are some of the main concerns right now right. that they're either already having to deal with or are preparing for? So since we last talked, I was talking to the crews to see, you know, are you still clearing snow? Is snow removal is still yeah. number one priority. It switched. It started, it, it became clearing out storm drains for anticipation of this storm, the next storm, and all the snow uh, melt off, so. How important is doing something that just sounds as simple as clearing out those storm drains? I mean, what, what can uh, that do if they are not cleared out and they do start to back up and we start to right, see communities? Right, yeah, th then, then the water has nowhere to go and it's going up against people's homes and mm. buildings like that. So after all the snow, there was just a lot of debris, mostly trees yeah. uh, clogging the drains, so they were clearing all that out the last couple of days. And again, as Francella told us, they are experiencing it right now as we speak. So this is just back to back that they have had yeah. these troubles in those communities. When it comes to San Diego, obviously this storm is not expected to be anywhere near what other parts are seeing. But Thank goodness. we've got two more storms she's already tracking for next week. Right. What's your message right now maybe right. for people who are, I mean, we're already in a flood prone area, some in San Diego. Right. No, this is a great time to revisit your own uh emergency plan. Uh, do you have enough supplies so you don't have to go out during these storms? Because that's the number one thing. If you can stay home and not have to go out, that's great. Do you have your medicines? You need plenty of food, water, food for the animals. Don't forget the, you know, our furry friends. Yeah. Um, things like that. You want to stay home, stay off the roads and, and that way you're safer that way. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to how long the teams with CAL FIRE are going to be there, I know some are switching out. Do we know how long they're going to be staying in Northern California? We don't know yet. It's it's too early to know. They're, they're just getting sent there now, and uh, we'll see what this br this week brings. I know, and yeah. it's hard to believe it's only getting started, right. and potentially those worst effects are going to happen in the coming days. Right. Anything else you want our viewers to know just about how they're helping? I mean, lending a hand to other Californians right now, putting themselves, of course, in the in the line of fire while we are here sitting in a, in a much better situation. Yeah, no, I was just letting the crews know about all the support they've been getting from, from everyone down here, and, uh, you know, that keeps them motivated to just keep going and, 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 and stay up there and help out. All right. Well, we yeah. are wishing the best for them and, of course, everybody that lives in those areas right now right. that are supposed to be most effective. Captain, we appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Hopefully we'll have good news the next time uh, we see you and, and we can say that they've been able to come back home. That's right. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All, All right. right. Logan, we'll send things over to you. Okay, Hunter, thanks.